Uh, you mentioned Kerbal Space Program, the video game. <laughs> uh, someone asked you what video game you recommend for learning about space and rockets, and you said, duh, Ker uh, Kerbal Space Program. So tell me about this game. What, what is this game? And I also saw, heard that a second one is coming out. So what, 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 like, uh, I, you know, I've been playing more games recently because uh, games are fun and they remind you that life is awesome. Uh, so why should I play this game? If you want to learn about rockets, how to fly, how to build, how to get into orbit, how to get to other planets, there's no better way to learn about rockets than so playing Kerbal Space Program. What, what does it entail? Like, do you actually like... Uh, it's like SimCity and Microsoft Flight Simulator for rockets. Oh, interesting. So you will get to like, what do you design the rockets? Yeah. Yeah. It's it, okay. So I started playing it in like 2014, I think around as I'm like falling in love with space and I became obsessed with this game. Like literally you, <laughs> you know, you, you, you take a, like a, you get boop, a little command module, click, yeah. you click on a fuel tank, boop, you choose your engine, boop, you choose a stage connector, boop, you connect more tanks and build these space planes and f fantastical things and it's all like physics based mm -hmm. and it's available this sounds like a commercial it's available on pc and mac and and console like it's it's available everywhere but and wait there's more but wait there's more and <laughs> you you uh, you said like you streamed yourself playing this are those any of those videos up to oh yeah 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 there's some of my actually the first videos i ever uploaded to youtube were re like recaptured streams from twitch that are just physically uploaded to youtube this is awesome and so it's it's me playing Kerbal. We I used to do this uh, kind of like a podcast style thing. Uh, I should get back into this because it's one of my favorite things I ever did. It's called we called it Todayish in Space Flight History. But these days I'd probably just play Kerbal. But I had my friend come sit next to me. His name's Jacob, mm -hmm. and he is a former professional pole vaulter. Just this really knows nothing about rockets. Yes, knows nothing about space. Hilarious, like in the sweetest most fun way he know, like he you know as an adult asked me which is bigger the earth or the moon and i love that for him you know that's that's fantastic he's just a delightful human he would sit next to me we would recreate a historical space flight mission in kerbal space program and he would just sit there and play guitar mm -hmm. and sing about what i'm like doing and asking questions yeah and it's still one of my favorite things i've ever done yeah you should definitely do something like that so basically just uh yeah shoot the shit with a friend get that, their curiosity going the curiosity, let them just sit yeah. there and ask questions it was awesome. Like, I mean, yeah, those are some, I, I, I've done it a handful of times. I think we probably did like 20 or 30 episodes or something. And it is, it's definitely something I would like to get back to doing. Can you in the, in the game, like go to, like, go to the moon? Yeah. So it's, it's technically a different solar system. It's the Kerbal system and you're on the planet Kerbin. Mm -hmm. So there's the MUN, M-U-N. Yep. There's a second moon in the system uh, on this planet. Uh, it's called Minmus. They didn't want to pl pay licensing fees or what? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's just a little easier. It's a little bit yeah, smaller. Sure. So the physics are easier. Um, because oh, so it tries to be consistent with physics. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The physics are all are all like real world physics. And I mean, there's aero simulations. There's all of it's like one to one, you know, for earth physics. That's awesome. It's just on an on easier scale so solar system. So it's easier to, to navigate. But there's still like, a, there's a planet called Eve that's kind of like Venus. So it has a really thick atmosphere, really thick, really soupy. It's um, it's and a lot more gravity. So it's just really, really hard to get off of. Um, it's easy, relatively easy to land on Eve, but like that's kind of like the ultimate boss in the game is like getting <laughs> off of Eve. So that's one of my favorite things to do is build these crafts to to get to Eve and and try to return home. 